Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. We are here with another episode of Q Season 2, Episode 11. Um, we are at the last day of the training camp, I believe. I thought it was the last episode, but it wasn't. I think this is the last day of the training camp, and our team is up against Fukuro Dani. Um, doing well, actually. I think someone mentioned in the last episode that this is the first time that they've actually, you know, led in, the, in a game that they've been playing. Um, so the, the team is improving slowly but surely they are improving um, we got to see them try out all these new cogs as the teacher called it um, in the last episode um, for the most part they've succeeded or improved you know on where they were at, at the start of this training camp you know in the court in the space of one week they've improved significantly um, Nishi was able to pull off his um, his 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 set um, you know his, his toss I should say um, you know Asahi was able to spike, uh, do the serve. I think he did the serve. I'm not, I don't remember if he actually if it was in or out, but um, they were able to do the synchronized attack at the release, and that was successful. And of course, you know, San Kageyama's new free quick um, worked one out of two times, um, but it's going to take a bit more practice for them to get that um, perfect, you know, get it to where they need to actually be. Um, of course, we. I'm. I'm loving the more of a Bakatsu that I get, the more I. I love that character. Um, and as many have said, this is one of the things I like about Haikyuu is that a lot of characters from opposing teams end up being characters that you like and you can relate to. Um. So as much as I do like her, you know, oftentimes in matches they may not be the team that I'm rooting for in that particular match. In this matchup currently, I'm rooting for for Kuradani because of Bakatsu. So that will happen. Um. You know, as you know. Um, you know, for for Seijo and and all the other characters that we've been introduced to, they've all had their, you know, um, you know, Nekoma as well. They've all had characters that you can you can just root for without feeling as though you're somehow betraying Karasuna. I know there is often this us versus them thing when it comes to anime and like okay, the other side is the is, are the the evil the evil villains um but that's just not always the case and and this is one of those rare um series where you know they flesh out all they try to flesh out the, all the characters from both sides and everyone is just there to actually win and and we're we're here rooting for them so um yeah so i found myself another character that i like in bakuto so hopefully we do see more of him um in the later episodes of this season and later seasons as well so i'm excited so let's see the conclusion of this match Let's check it out. Oh, All right, come on, back until we get it together. Keep the pressure on. All right, so they don't rely solely on Bakuto, so that's good. Yeah, I'm surprised actually. Yeah, I think Bakuto is out of it. Oh! <laughs> you know, the only one who can do a set of dumps. Good to know that they can keep up even without him. I guess when he's out, it forces the other teams to actually step up their game. And they, they expect it. That's good. I love that. Yeah. I am surprised. Yeah, they, they, even though the team isn't sort of relying on him, they still do need him. The servant normally, yeah, yeah. He stepped back, but that was the right choice to make here. Uh, is it time for him to come back in? <laughs> He's been waiting eagerly. <laughs> Oh, they weren't expecting it. <laughs> Is he back? Yeah. <laughs> He's good.
Yeah, Suki almost figured it out, you know? <laughs> oh man, I, I love I love this team. They're they're close on tying Seijo as one of my favorite teams. It's not that easy. I was too. Yeah, he backed down on the I saw the coach's reaction, but I thought it was the right decision to make on the, the match point, you know? If he wasn't certain he could hit it. どの色にも負けない黒です。ナスナージ。カラスらしく黒のチームになってください。ミスドスト。オズナートハード。アサイさん。まだ時間あるんで、俺のトス打ってもらえませんか。お。お。<laughs> <laughs> It's interesting. Suga spiking. Very, very interesting. I want to see that. I guess, uh, how long do they have left, though? I mean, they're in their third year. まあ、よくわかんないところで自滅するからね。でも敵が強いことに凹むってことはないから、割と大丈夫。本番では負けません。おお。受けてたぜ。いや。Let's <笑><笑> continue this <笑>いや。ワンズ。ウェンティディゲン。ここ <laughs> Anyway, it. Whenever you see that face, Kyoko's in a discussion. Okay. That qualifies him to be the leader. I look burnt. <laughs> oh no. That's making it worse. Crowdani group no managers. Level got a kind of Karasnuma Kuavate. Yeah, he said it a few times. 
でもお前らのところ虫若は三本の指に入ってくるやつだぜ<笑>ありがとうございました。Alright, now on to what was it? The spring tournament? I think. あすの予選で2回勝てば10月の代表決定戦へ進出できます。この1次予選を突破した8校にさらに強豪8校を加えて10月の代表決定戦となります。おお、オッケー。ナイス。よよ、心しきてるさ。緊張緊張してきた。よ
What were they saying about Okawa? Okay, new faces. New faces, new teams. Bring it! The greatest service for the lesser. Hope he can back those words up. All right, time skip. Yes, <laughs> I love that they aren't spending too much time in between tournaments. All right, episode eleven. Um, another great episode. Um, our team is now back at Karasuno. The training camp has ended. Um, Bakuto was able to get out of that, you know, that rut that he was in, and you know, scored the match point. Um, I'm glad I was proven wrong, you know, in that. The team isn't solely reliant on him and they can very well play at the same level um, and you know try to get him back to that point but um, I was a bit worried that that's where the team was you know and that they need him to actually perform at the level that they're currently at but um, they need each other you know it's a sort of a symbiotic relationship there um, he needs their compliments and praise and they need him to play at his best so <laughs> it works it works um, so I mean, they're quickly becoming one of my they, one of my favorite teams alongside um, Seijo, you know. Um, so that's two characters that I found that I really enjoy. Um, Okawa from Seijo, of course, um, and Bakuto from um, Fukura Dali. So I, I I like both of these both of these schools um, and those characters in particular. So um, Karsuna is still I, I I don't know I, I I love the characters. I love some more characters than Karsuna than the other schools, um, but uh I'd, I'd say right now Carson is kind of tied with Sejo for me as my favorite school to watch um um to, to actually watch play I mean, i'm glad to see Carson was learning all these things but um you know I, I want to see a lot of those schools as much as i want to see Carson right now um so Sejo is definitely one and they did bring up something uh about um Ushiwaka not being, you know, him being the top in the, the top three players, uh, the, uh, the top three aces, I think. Um, but they didn't show the faces of the other two that you know that are ahead of Ushiwaka, and I remember specifically when they were looking at the magazine, um, or you know when they first mentioned Ushiwaka, I think they said he was number one or listed named Japan number one. So if he's, if there are two others above him, I, I'm just trying to figure out why he was listed as number one, if that was the case, if he's just number three. Um, so I'm curious, uh, I'd be curious about that. Um, but whatever the case, um, you know, they still have a lot of talented players ahead of them, um, a, lot, a lot more matches to go. I'm glad that we had a time skip there at the end, which means we're going to be jumping right into the official matches and we're going to be spending a lot of time in between that's one of the things that i love about the series there aren't any fillers per se um and, and each episode um involves some progress with the characters or moving the story forward in one way or another um not not fillers for the sake of just having an episode you know um so i really like that um but yeah we we mean we looking at the lineup i didn't see i'd have to go back and look at the details but i did say that they were exempt from a few matches because um, I guess because of their position in the last um, tournament. Um, so they're just going to jump right into it. We got some glimpses of some new characters. Um, a first year that one that the, the, the manager mentioned. Um, a, a talented first year. I forget the name of the school. Um, but I guess Hinata and Kagema aren't the only rising first years that we need to, um, we need to worry about. You know, we need to look out for. Um, there are other talented players out there as well. And at the end, we also got a look at some other teams um, that didn't look familiar. Um, they weren't a part of our training camp, so I'm assuming these are maybe the top one, two, um, and, and you know the top three schools somewhere there. Um, yeah, so I didn't recognize any of those characters or the schools for that matter. So um, I, I'm, I'm, I'm excited. I'm getting excited. I can't wait to meet a lot of these new characters. Uh, whether Karasuna will win this upcoming tournament, 
I think we will, uh, I mean, if only because, um, you know, Kyoko mentioned at the end here that, you know, th this would be their last tournament. Um, so I think sort of a, a sort of a, a send -off, although I'm a bit unclear on that because I, I could have sworn that they decided to stay on, you know. Um, but she said here in this episode that this would be their final official match. Uh, so I'm not clear on what is what you know what that actually means um but i can see them winning the, the the next tournament um or at least getting to the finals if that is if that is what happens um with the the tools that they have picked up here and all that they've learned and all that they will learn along the way um i, I don't think by any means that their evolution stops here with everything that they have learned they will perfect that and then they will go on to learn um, additional skills um and, and tools that they can bring to the tournament and and you know uh, it continue to evolve. Uh, we, we got a moment here at the end with um, with Suki and his brother. So it's good to know that they, you know, I mean, they live in the same house. As he said, the only issue was that when, you know, he they only converse during dinner and then he doesn't talk to him again. Um, I mean, the brother seems to have moved past it. Um, you know, he's still playing volleyball and doing his thing. So I guess Suki was the only one that hadn't quite resolved that incident. Um, and they probably just need to sit down and talk about it because that's a long time to keep, you know, to, to keep that um, hidden and, you know, just, yeah. yeah. Between brothers, that's that's an awfully long time to keep that, keep that inside. So hopefully they'll sit down and have a moment. Um, they're having a conversation here, but he can learn a lot from his brother, I think. You know, he said he's continued to play volleyball. I think he can learn a lot from his brother here. So hopefully... We'll see some resolution to that that situation between the two, um, and that will in turn motivate Suki to actually perform at an elevated level as well. So I'm I'm looking forward to seeing him grow as a character, um, um alongside the others as well. So all in all, over a fantastic episode, and I can't wait to jump back into the official tournaments and matches. So um, be sure to post down below, guys. Let me know what your thoughts are on this episode. Remember to hit like and subscribe, and I'll see you for the next one.